The Utica College track and field program enters the 2011-2012 campaign stronger than ever before. The program, in only its second year of competition, sent two athletes, hurdlers Jessica Sorallo and Joe Prugno, to the NCAA championship, while sophomores Morgan Payne and Katie Day led the cross-country program, now in its sixth season, with numerous strong performances throughout the past two years. We sat down with a few of the athletes to find out just what goes into a well-rounded student-athlete experience here at Utica College. I chose Utica College, one, because it was a new program, and um, two, I did meet with Coach Rose while I was at um, my other school, and he seemed like the type of coach I'd want to come work for, come run for. And um, with the coaching staff he put together, uh, as you can see, the team's doing very well, so it was very exciting. Great atmosphere to learn in. Uh, school's small. There's not a lot of students, so you can meet everybody. And if you need help, professors are right there to help you. They, they know you by name. You're not just a number. I kind of just applied. It was a small school. I was just kind of looking for something like this. The distance is about an hour and a half from my home, so it's comfortable. I sat in a recruiting form and uh, Coach Parker contacted me and uh, we set up a day visit and I came up here and I was shown around the campus and I really liked how um, enthused him and Coach Rose were. They really seemed like they wanted me and I really liked that. They really embraced it. So uh, that was a big deciding factor in me coming here. Great. Really new high school, I came and I met the coaches and then they kind of pursued me. They're like, we can help you with aid and they were just very nice to me all the way through. Every time I was here, they were very willing to help and stuff like that, so that was definitely a big factor, and I met the track team, and they were all wonderful. Well, I was, I was interested in being like in a health field, and the PT program here is really good, so the, like the academics in it here was really tough, and I wanted to challenge myself. Uh, it's tough. There's a, it's a lot more like intense than a, like high school courses will be, and you just got to make sure you're on top of your work. Teachers are they're great though. If you need help, just go to their office hours. So I'll help you out. Uh, the health studies program is um, a general program. Like me, I'm not sure about what I wanted to go into. I just knew that I wanted to do something health related. And uh, the health studies program is a good program to get started. And um, you get your sciences out of the way, and you get your core classes out of the way, and it's a good start for uh, future career in uh, PT or OT for people who are undecided. I'm a sociology major here at Utica College. Um, I came in as a transfer, so I just had to do major core completed and stuff. And uh, so I work with uh, a couple professors that help me out outside the classroom, inside the classroom, and they're easy to contact um, through email. And uh, I also like that Utica College has small, um, small classroom for student-to-teacher ratios. So that's what brought me here. Right. Well, he's a great coach. He has his style and it works. You just have to buy into it, and if you follow it to a T, you're going to see the results. But it's hard. It's a hard system to go with. It's a lot of a lot of work on your own. You have to do a lot of supplemental work, but you okay. can do it. I do work with Coach Parker. He's the hurdles coach. Um, he ran up D1 at Iowa State, uh, great school, and he's uh, knows a lot. Very knowledgeable about the 110 hurdles. Um, he's taken classes, and he's helped me proceed from um, a best of 14.7 up to a 14.5. And uh, moving on from here, um, we also have a female hurdler who was also an all American um, went to nationals as well. Uh, last year, just to make it to the NCAAs was a, was a great feat for us at UC College. Um, representing UC is um, a good posture for uh, the school and for the track and field program. Um, a, lot of, a lot of competition, it was tough, but it was fun. And uh, to come home uh, with an All-American title, is, it's an honor. It's an honor. So. Um, when I first came onto the track team, I didn't think I was anywhere close to making nationals, and it was my last meet to qualify, and I was actually pretty far away, and then I actually made the auto mark when I hit it, and I was very surprised. Um, it's definitely a family. Everybody on the team is very close to one another. There's no cliques. You know, we all do different events, but we're just together all the time. Practices are always fun. The coaches are just as much kids as we are, so we don't have to, like, feel like we have to make up to them. 
they just kind of participate with us, and it's just one of the best experiences to be on the team with everyone. Well, a lot of the a lot of kids are from local schools, so we've all seen each other like through the high school years, and I never had the type of relationship with a team that I have until I came here. Like we're like a family, and it's just we just grew together, and like we do everything together. So. Nice.